everybody welcome to yeah buddy today we're going to show you how to polish your boots using mink oil i have my red wing iron rangers with me today that i'm going to put mink oil on and make them look good as new you saw them in my video on how to tie your boots properly and as promised i'm going to show you how to clean them up hi guys Let's go make do fun it. of my dad because he said not to don't click the subscribe button don't click the notification bell and don't click the like button and tell him that his boots look like bananas. <laughs> okay, thank you. The Iron Ranger was originally built for iron miners in the 1930s. These six inch boots signature feature is the leather toe cap, which is as distinctive as it is durable. Each pair develops a personalized fit and custom comfort over the time, thanks to leather insoles and a cork midsole that form to the feet. First step to cleaning these bad boys up is removing the laces. Let's get started. Now, as I'm removing the laces, I want to draw your attention to the brass speed hooks at the top of the boots. These really provide precision lacing and uh, what I think is like a really visual nice hit of hardware on the boots. So instead of setting the laces aside, I just tuck them into the boot because you're going to have a lot of materials out and you don't want to lose your laces. Another reason I removed the laces is because there's a lot of dust and debris that gets by the tongue that you're going to want to brush out that I'll show you in step one. So I also have a towel that I put down on the table or whatever surface I'm working on because sometimes it can get messy with the different polishes. Mink oil is not too bad. But you'll also see that I have a number of different brushes that I use. Uh, the first one is for black shoes, black boots. Um, you're not going to want to use that on any other colors. I also have a cordovan brush. You can see there's a slight red tint to it, but it is hard to distinguish between that and the brown brush. For today, we're gonna use the brown brush because as you guessed it, my boots are brown. So if you buy your boots from a reputable company, the manufacturer is gonna have suggested products that you use on your boots. While I know there's a number of other products that you can use on your boots, I'm using the bare minimum today just the mink oil, the leather protector, and a brush. Let me know in the comments section below if you have any additional products that you use on your boot. All right, time to start the brushing. So my Iron Rangers are pretty tough. So you just stick one hand inside the boot, grab the boot brush with the other hand, and start brushing the dirt and debris away. This is kind of step number one. You can do it pretty forcefully on these boots. I do have a pair of of uh, Alan Edmonds Oxford shoes that I would definitely not use this brush on but since these are tough boots made for outdoor made for rugged weather um, you can you can use a little bit of force to get all that dirt and debris out of the way all right if you want to get really crazy you can get a toothbrush to clean you know the part of the boot that connects to the sole and get some of the dust out of there dirt out of there because it is a little more difficult um, it's also, I find it easier to grab the brush lengthwise. And I also I always try to go in the same direction across the toe and then, you know, across the other parts of the boots. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see more detail and more of the dirt. This is definitely why I took the laces out so that I could get in all these nooks and crannies. All right, that just about does it for boot number one. Now I'm going to move on to boot number two, but I'm not, I'm going to spare you the details. I'll just do it off camera and then hop into the application of the mink oil. All right, before I start applying the mink oil, let me tell you a little bit about it. So it softens and conditions oil tanned leathers, and it's made up of a blend of mink oil, lanolin, and silicone. It's going to increase the water resistance of your boots or shoes but it also will darken the leather of your footwear. So I would apply it on a small section of your footwear before you know going to town on the entire thing. I like a dark leather boot. I like well hydrated boots. So as you'll see in this video, I apply very liberally. I feel like the leather on these boots, I would treat like my skin. So I would want to hydrate it as much as possible so as to reduce wrinkles, reduce cracking, as well as maintaining that water resistance of the boot. All right, all right, all right. Let's grab that mink oil again. Grab a scoop of it on a t-shirt or some other rag. We'll talk about that in a second. You know, a big finger schmear of it. 
and just start rubbing it in. I apply as much pressure as I would as if I were erasing shoe scuff marks off of a gym floor, so a fair amount. And just make sure that you get the mink oil all over the boot in the nooks and crannies. If you need to get more mink oil on your t-shirt, go ahead and do so. Again, I apply as much as, uh, much as possible. So let's talk about the t-shirt. Um, I didn't show you that before. I, I guess maybe it's a, a former military thing using whatever sort of spare cloth I have in my possession. I just use an old white t-shirt um, or an old brown t-shirt of some sort to, to help polish my boots. Let me know in the comment section below if you use something other than a t-shirt, whether that be a small brush or something else to apply mink oil or polish on your boots or shoes. I'm going to speed the video up a little bit right now. Don't be worried if you get the mink oil on the sole or other parts of the boot. I always find polishing my boots or shoes is kind of a relaxing, cleansing activity. And on the Iron Rangers, there's a little bit of leather trim on the inside of the boot that you're also going to want to apply oil to. Now, I wouldn't apply it as liberally here as you are on the toe, but definitely going to want some there so it doesn't crack. Also, make sure you get in all of the tight spaces on the tongue. So you're going to want to make sure that that's hydrated. It's the reason you took the laces out, right? Man, that looks good and shiny. All right. Um... I think it's time to move on to boot number two. Look at the difference between the two of these. Left one unpolished, right one polished. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so I applied the mink oil to the second boot off camera just to save everybody time. And I also allowed the boots 24 hours to dry. Think of the mink oil kind of like lotion on your skin. You don't apply lotion and then just wipe it off. Although you could do that with your boot, I choose to apply it and let it dry. With the amount of mink oil that I put on the boots, we're gonna let it dry for about another 12 hours. 12 hours later, the Iron Rangers are looking beautiful. Thank you everybody for watching. Please take a moment, despite what my son said at the beginning of this, to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on boot care tips, knots, or how to do things. I'm also on the path to a thousand subscribers and really appreciate your support in that goal. Yeah, buddy.